Hello, everybody. How are you? This is Jung hosting another session of IRK Facebook Live, number seventeen. Uh, I figured this out before. Uh, there, there you go. No, there you go. <laughs> seventeen. Um, that was hard. <laughs> um, now you, you can see uh, that I've been thinking about this for a while. <laughs> Uh, I need more hands. <laughs> um, today is an awesome day. Um, I've been really looking forward to today. Um, wow. And uh, day has finally come. So uh, I've been looking forward to um, another Friday. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Get to play games with you. Um, what, what can be better than that, right? <laughs> I'm so looking forward to today. Um, hey, guys. How's it going? Buddy, how are you, my friend? Thanks for joining. Hey, Wayne. How's it going? Thanks for joining. Hey, Rick, how's it going? Hey, Philip, thanks for, thank you so much for joining. Um, Ed, wow, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. Christoph, how are you, my friend? Thank you for joining. So glad that you guys are here today. Um, hey, Marcus, how's it going? Thanks for joining. Hey, my neighbor, how are you, my friend? Thank you for that. Uh, John, how are you? Thanks for joining. Oh, wow, all well, my friends are here. I'm so happy. Um, uh, John, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining. Um, well, thanks to everybody. Uh, last Tuesday, my daughter had a wonderful graduation. Uh, in the midst of all the uh, pandemic that's going on, these th it was very interesting because it was a uh, drive-in like environment. So there was a huge screen in the in the middle of a parking lot, right? And then we were able to listen to the commencement via FM radio, um, eighty-eight point nine. <laughs> Um, that was interesting, and uh, all the kids got out. And we, so we were in the car, right? So we were celebrating in the car, and every, all the kids they had their sunroof open, and they were out, up, out uh, through the sunroof and sitting on the top of the cars, and we were celebrating. And uh, I thought that was very interesting. Never experienced anything like that before, so uh, that was good. Um, I'm I'm just used to regular graduations. Right? So, my God, I remember um, graduating from elementary school back back when, uh, even junior high. I'm sorry, junior high, back when, and that seems like yesterday. But uh, my kids are growing, and I think everybody's kids are growing. Time is flying by fast. So um, that was good. Uh, great weather in Chicago, uh, summer weather, and we've been actually looking forward to this for some time. Um, just wishing that uh, co Mr. Corona would go away, right? <laughs> uh, nice. Hey, Nacho Libre, how are you, my friend? Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate it. Um, we have some really awesome stuff to show you today. Um, but before we get into that, I, I want to uh, I wanna show you something real quickly. Uh, let me see if I can get this working. There it goes. Big day. <laughs> uh, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Um, I've been waiting for the, this day for some time. And I think everybody has been waiting for this day for some time. And uh, let me just go back to my screen. And uh, I think we are ready. I think we're ready to give you the information that you were looking for. Uh, next Tuesday, mark your calendars. <laughs> I am very, very excited. Uh, very, very excited. Um, Wayne, oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's what I said, too. I said, oh my god. We're ready? Seriously? Oh my god. Cool. Um, next Tuesday, uh, we are ready. Um, and we'll give you some, we'll share with you some really awesome stuff. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, make sure to sign up uh, if you haven't and if you're interested. And make sure to sign up on irk.rocks um, link because um, I'll be uh, doing some communications with you in this link. And I'll share with you more information on what this is about on Tuesday. Hey, Jim, how are you, my friend? Thank you so much for joining. So nice to see you. Um, I Thank you, John. Uh, I totally agree with you. I'm like, oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> um, lots of people have been asking a lot of questions, and uh, you know, I, I, I've also been really waiting for this day. So I finally got the, got the go from my team. Uh, so looking forward to it. Uh, I hope. Right, looking forward to a very good session next Tuesday. So stay tuned. Um, I think it's probably going to be the entire next week, um, Tuesday, Friday. Um, there's a lot of information, so we'll probably divide into two and share with you. Uh, so that's coming next week. So next next week is a party week. Um, if anybody's interested in drinking with me, let me know because <laughs> I need some right now. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, Chris, um, oh, Mark, uh, Mark, my calendar. Thank you so much. For, uh, my, uh, thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate it. Uh, Chris, it'll, uh, it's going to be the same time, um, 3 p.m. CST, as, as always. It'll be... It will be the same uh, Facebook live session, uh, except a little different format. Um, thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. Uh, yes, I arcade rocks. <laughs> uh, today, I have some games to show you. Uh, and I am very, very, very excited to show you these games today uh, because um, I've been waiting for this moment for a, for a while uh, because uh, the game that I'm about to show you today is amazing. Uh, hint, hint, wink, wink. Uh, there's the wink. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have to stop doing that. I know. <laughs> um, so I've uh, been very, really, very much waiting for this, and um, and uh, finally got here. So um, looking forward to it. But with that, today I have four games to show you. Uh, one of them is a repeat, but uh, I want to show you uh, for a good reason. So. Let's with that. Let's dive in. Let me switch my screen to my device. All right. Let me know if you guys can hear me. I also have a audio checking apparatus here, so I can I can see if the audio is going through. I think it is. Again, if I have any issues, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm walking toward my device. Okay. Uh, as usual, uh, for those who are uh, joining for the first time, uh, welcome. Uh, thank you so much, and it's great to see you here. Um, and uh, let me quickly go over with you on how the device works. Uh, I'm standing on the right side because the space is like really, really small. <laughs> it's, it's like uh, everything's in the floor, and space is too small for me to crawl, crawl across. But uh, once I'm done with this, I, I will crawl across, and uh, hopefully I'll be successful. I need to prove that I'm thin enough to make that happen. <laughs> but let's do that. Um, so the device, as you can see, I'm going to tilt this back a little bit. Um, 80 watts of very powerful uh, speakers right there. It, it, you really have to experience it. I mean, it, if you're writing, when you're in front of the device, it's, it's really amazing. Um, can't wait to uh, can't wait to uh, have you experience this. Uh, anyways, 19 inches of big, beautiful display right here, and then we have the control panel, the premium control panel with two joysticks, six buttons for player, and then on the right hand side we have the power button, where if you press it once, it goes to sleep. Press it again, it wakes up. So uh, right, you can get to playing the game like instantaneously right away. Um, one of the things that I'm very proud of it with and I also believe that this is very important for a gaming experience. So I'm so glad that we we're able to make this happen. By the way, if you want to shut the device down completely, press and hold the power button for two seconds, and then it'll shut down. And if you press it again, it'll come up uh, in less than 30 seconds. Last time I measured, it was uh, 24 seconds. Uh, so you're able to play your game from all the way down uh, to powering up and playing in less than 30 seconds, which I thought was really cool. Uh, next to it, we have player one start, player two start, and we have the coin button. And then, of course, we have the volume button so that you can control volume. Uh, I'm going to lower it down so that you can hear me during the gameplay. And then next to it, we have a menu and pause button. If you press it during gameplay, it'll pause the game. If you press it again, it'll unpause the game. If you press and hold for two seconds, it'll go back to the menu. And then, if you, uh, and then so that you can select another game and play. Uh, next to it, we have the 3.5 millimeter headset check so that when you're playing games at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. like me, then you can play quietly so that you don't wake up anybody. Uh, we have a beautiful menu here, very intuitive menu. Uh, let me go over there real quickly. So leftmost tab is the recent tab where these list all the recent games that you played, followed by all the games in your system. I have quite a few. 
PC <laughs> uh, data games stored. Uh, I, I I just went down about a quarter of the way, I think. And then after that, you have you have the games by genre, uh, so it's very easy to find. And with the genre too, everything is alphabetized, so I think games are really easy to play. One of the things that we've been trying to deliver to you, an experience where uh, you're able to find your games quickly and get to playing the games quickly, so that there's no time wasted. We want you to spend the time playing the games, not finding it. Um, at the end, we have settings menu, so you can uh, set set up uh, or set your set your device. Uh, we want to make sure that device is customized to you, right? So it'll have the games that you like instead of games that we want you to like, um, and settings that you like instead of settings that you, we want you to like. Etc. Uh, I'm too right now. If you look on the right hand side, I'm too lazy to connect my Wi-Fi, but you've seen disconnected before, so um, <laughs> uh, I didn't connect it today. Etc. Um, Etc. Et so if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I am going to uh, scoot in to the other side and prove that I am thin, uh, thin enough to make that happen. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, Let's get into games. So first game that I'm about to play is called uh, Drum Roll. <laughs> um, and I've, you've seen this name before, Battle K Road. Battle K Road is a game from 1994. Uh, it's 1994. Um, this game is. So there were there are a lot of fighting games out there, right? But this one is a more toward realism uh, than arcade, uh, and I think because of that, uh, there were there were uh, hardcore fans that were formed around this game. Um, the great graphics and some of the characters. I know it's not real, uh, so this realism, if you look at it from character perspective, doesn't really play into come into play. But gameplay wise, uh, that's what. Uh, they were more focusing into again 1994 game um great graphics i really like this um 90s retro graphics so um let's, with that let's get into game before i get into it i'm sorry let me just check and make sure that i do have good audio um okay great uh audio is perfect thank you so much mark i appreciate it all right let's get into playing game. just to let you know um I'm not good at this game, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Uh, they, they have some interesting characters. They have cyborgs, right? This cyborg here looks like um, a Terminator, right? And Mr. Arnie. And this guy looks more like, oh, I meant to select Arnie, but anyway. Uh, this guy was the uh, bad guy from Terminator 2. Um, again, I'm not too good in this game. Uh, but here, uh, different from other games, is that if you really get him and you get him knocked down, uh, then uh, even though your power is not down all the way, uh, you get him down. You knock him down, right? And when the power goes all the way down, you win the level. Uh, so I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, on this game, I'm not sure if there are any special moves or not because I don't know how to play it. Um, but Last time I tried to do a uh, semicircle move, um, I think it tried to do something, but I don't know the moves. So my apologies for that. Isn't that cool? Uh, playing against the Terminator. <laughs> I'm a huge Terminator fan. Um, I mean, especially Terminator 2 was a classic, right? So I've, I've watched that movie like 10,000 times uh, with a little bit of exaggeration. Uh, probably 9,999 times. <laughs> um, but you, you can see, um, I love these sci-fi movies and everything. And whenever I see these cyborgs, I, I go nuts. Um, when I was young, I, I used to watch a lot of Japan animation uh, mangas. And um, one of the mangas was called 009. Um, and I, I don't think that was released in US. Um, I, I got that from when I when I was like really, really young in Korea. Um, and this 009 was all about cyborg. So this guy is a sort of a spy with, and he, he's a cyborg. And uh, he got into an accident, lost his parents when he was young. 
uh, and he became a cyborg because they machinized him. And he's half half human, half machine, and he can do really cool stuff. Um, and he's there to save the world, similar to 007. But anyway, that just reminded me um, when I was playing this game because the word cyborg, um, I think, is really cool. Ah, oh, I got killed. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see if I can beat her. Uh, any wages? Uh, anybody better me uh, against her? <laughs> oh man, I, it's, it's funny me, but you know, um, this big chunk of machine um, battling a human, um, it's not fair. And the, the other part is that I'm losing, so. Look at that. All right. Um, I hope that you guys didn't bet for me. I hope you bet against me because I lost. Uh, <laughs> but this was Battle K Road. Uh, any, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, Battle K Road is coming to IRK. Let me get to the next game. Next game is another exciting one. Uh, this game uh, has some good following. Um, I've not seen, maybe I did see it in arcades when I was young. Um, it's called Heavy Smash. So Heavy Smash is a futuristic sports game, right? Uh, very similar to handball. And this game uh, is, for example, you, you have a soccer ball and you're playing handball, but with armor and everything because you can beat up the other player. Um, I think that's a big differentiation. And um, it, there's a game called Speedball. Uh, back some time ago, and this game, uh, I think, ha takes a lot from that. Uh, this is a 1993 game, and um, I found it actually very exciting. Easy to play, great graphics, so very differentiated, uh, futuristic sports game. So I'm on the left-hand side, so I'm getting this. I got this ball, so I can jump, and I can pass. And I can shoot. All right, pass, shoot. All right, I made my first call. I was actually playing my son um, about an hour ago, and uh, I thought I was gonna, I was gonna crush him, but ended up tying. And <laughs> um, we we were like, what is it? Uh, the battle was pretty fierce. <laughs> Let me put it that. Um, two zero. And if the other guy has a ball, I can punch him. And again, very much like handball. I'm gonna shoot. Yes, made it again. So it was. It's a, this is a very interesting sports game. Um, right now, quite honestly, I don't know what's happening because I've never scored three goals in a row. I think it's um, the good luck that you're giving me, <laughs> uh, the good vibe, uh, but. The game is usually more difficult than this. Um, but let me just score another goal and I'll get it. Oh, look at that. And quite honestly, I do not know yet on how to make such special shooting happen. And I will probably, ah, oh, he punched me. I punched him back. Let me just score one more. Oh. Pass. Dribbling, dribbling, jumps, he shoots. Yes, he gets it in. 5 0. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was exciting. <laughs> so, this is Heavy Smash. It's coming to IR Arcade. Uh, we, we want to focus a lot on sports games, and this is one of the very differentiated ones. Uh, so, I wanted to uh, show you. Uh, it was very interesting for me. Our next one is a game that you've seen before, but I want to show you again because. Uh, it, there, there's been some good changes. Um, and this is a game, one of the games that you really liked, I think, and that's Riktai GP Renegade. Um, uh, especially for people who have not seen this game yet. Um, it's a very interesting game. It is, it's an awesome game, uh, great graphics. It's a jet ski racing game. If you look at the display, uh, keep on watching the display. Uh, you see IRK logo there. Um, if you continue watching, um, you will see uh, IRK logos 
in this game. The reason is because this has the game has been completely customized for our arcade. Um, and our uh, the company uh, has become an awesome partner with ours. Uh, we, we're like married right now. <laughs> uh, they love this company. Uh, the CEO in this company is amazing. And he's extremely excited about iArcade. So uh, he, he uh, worked very hard uh, to make this like really awesome for iArcade. So um, control's great. Uh, the play is great. Um, yeah, I'll just show you a little bit. Uh, for those who have not seen the game yet, look at the water water effects. Water effects are amazing. Um, we've mapped a great way to do tricks on this game, and you can do this with buttons on iArcade. And of course, again, you can play two players. Two player game game is phenomenal on this game, right? Last time I was playing my son, uh, if you've seen the video, I beat him. I crushed him. <laughs> and by the way, he doesn't like it when I tell him that I crushed him because uh, he usually beats me. Um, it was one of the occurrences. Anyway, if you look look at the water effect that's happening on the, on the display, um, 1080p, uh, full HD, quality graphics running 60 frames per second. Um, and the animation is very smooth, as you can see. And um, yeah. <laughs> um, You've seen this before, so I'll just go a little bit more to a trick. Oh, I fell. Now, one thing about doing tricks is that if you do a trick on this, then you can use, uh, I can boost. And look at that effect uh, when I boost. Oh, I just used it up. Uh, I, I was supposed to hold on the button for a little bit longer. But the boost effect is amazing. The water effect is amazing. The gameplay, oh my god, it's phenomenal, right? Uh, so, um, it, especially the music is really good. Uh, if, if I pump up the sound, it really feels like you're inside the game. So I was very happy with this game. Um, so that was Riptide GP Renegade. Um, let me do another trick. Works this time. Um, this is very much IIRK-diced. <laughs> There's a new word. Um, and I want to show you um, the new Riptide GP Renegade for iArcade. So there it is. There's another flip. Here, no, one more trick. All right. Okay, that was Riptide GP Renegade uh, completely redone. Oh, there's the finish line. There it goes. New Riptide GP Renegade. <laughs> All right. Um, now I want to get to my last game. Uh, last game. This game, I've been waiting for a very, very long time to be able to show you. Um, it, it's an amazing game. And um, it's very, very special um, because there is a special game that I really love um, on, uh, on my Nintendo that I play all the time with my kids. And I've been playing that since very, ever since I was young. Um, so this game, uh, when I found it, it made me extremely, extremely happy. Um, and let me show you a video first, as usual. Uh, this, especially again, this one's going to be a very special one for me. So I am so glad that we're finally able to show you this. So if you can give me one second. Sorry about that. There was, I saw that there was no audio. 
So let's start again. <laughs> Here it goes. The audio is awesome. So here it goes again. One moment, please. Okay, can you hear me? I think there's audio. Hope you enjoyed it. I've been waiting for a very long time to share this game with you. Um, and there are several reasons why. And I'll share the reason with you in a second uh, after we play the game. So let's try this out. Beach buggy racing, here goes. Again, if I don't have any audio, uh, let me know. Just going to really quickly uh, check and make sure that um, audio is there. OK, uh, I don't see uh, any information on audio being there. So, but let me know if, if I have any issues. But let's get to beach bug racing. I really like the music. <coughs> Excuse me. Really uh, like the music on this. Very relaxing when we start, but when we start playing the game, it gets very exciting. Um, look at the graphics, right? Oh my God, that's what I said. Literally, oh my God, when I saw this game. Uh, being able to, able to play uh, games like this on an arcade environment, um, I said it's oh my God. And by the way, the audio is extremely good, amazing. Uh, on IRK as well. Uh, I've played this with volume pumped up and wow. <laughs> That's what I said, wow. Oops, sorry about that. All right, let's see if I can win. There are, great thing about this game is that there are a lot of levels. Um, one of the levels that I've only seen on, in a on video, I haven't gotten there yet, is, whoops, ah. Uh, who was that? Let me let me revenge. <laughs> uh, anyway, there is a a Jurassic level with dinosaurs and everything, where you're jumping off the cliff, and I thought that was really really awesome. Uh, so I, I haven't been able to lock the, unlock the level yet, but I'm going to play hard so that I can. Um, this is this game is right, if you, right, it will remind you of a certain game, right? Um, and um, being able to play games like this in an arcade environment, I was like, holy cow. Um, and as you can see, uh, I've been playing this a little bit. And first place. Wow, what do you know? <laughs> um, first place. Um, wow. And if I break into tears, <laughs> um, you'll know why. Now, um, Great thing about this game is that you can also play two players. Um, and in order uh, to show you two-player gaming on this awesome game, I have a special guest. Uh, you can give me one second. Let me go back to the menu. All right. By the way, you can also upgrade cars and things like that as well, which is really, really cool. And as you solve levels, uh, you, you collect these uh, stars and upgrade cars, and you can unlock levels and things like that, which is really awesome. Um, now I'm going to play two-player gaming. Uh, and let me introduce you to the special guest whom you all know, uh, my little son, uh, who believes that he's better than me in this game. And he sort of is, but 
um, I beat him last time. So, say hi. Hello. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play two players. Um, okay, we're gonna go a little slow. Uh, and we're gonna play with AI drivers. If you can move a little bit so that we can show the screen. Okay, there you go. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a little bit of advantage so that I can beat him again this time. <laughs> uh, we're gonna choose our buggy. There are lots of buggies to choose from. I like this rock stomper. Let's go for that. Uh, this Rez is the main character. Um, great looking cartoony character. Uh, but let me see if uh, I feel like somebody else this time. All right, I'll go, I'll go for an alien. How about that? I'll go for the alien. And from a color of car perspective, I'm gonna go for black. That looks really cool. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to lose? <laughs> okay. Uh, take this out, folks. Uh, start betting uh, because uh, I'm gonna try to beat them. Uh, <laughs> I think I just lost my weapon. But... Okay, somebody shot me. Who's that? I think everybody's ahead of me, but it's just a matter of time, right? Uh, if I catch up, see, there's one guy, two guys right there. Now I'm gonna use my weapon. If you look at my right hand side, it's a shield. So I just used my shield and I just got a boost. Um, so let me try to use a boost. There it goes. Look at the speed effect, right? Um, this game is made by the exactly same company that also made uh, Retai GP Renegade. And as you can see that they have something for these racing games and they're amazing. Um, okay, gonna, gonna, oh, oh I, that's a wet, there you go. Okay, that too. And by the way, uh, when you're playing this game, um, the control of gas pedal is extremely important uh, because when you're doing these cornering things, uh, you have to uh, control your gas pedal to make sure that you don't overdrift. Uh, so that right, oh, drifting really takes a lot of time away from you. So. Uh, and by the way, the other really cool thing about this game, I just stepped on a oil, slick oil. The other really cool thing about this game is that it's got a lot of weapons to use. He beat me. You beat me again. Okay, um, I'm going to edit out this portion of the video later so that I can say I won. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you very much for coming. Um, my special guest, everybody, I'll give him a little round of applause and for beating me. Uh, but that was uh, Beach Buggy Racing, two players. Let me know anytime if you have any questions. Otherwise, let me go back to my PC and we'll have some conversation. And by the way, I got to flip through again. So let me see if I can make this happen. There it goes. I'm getting better at this. Okay, I'm gonna move over to my PC. Um, okay, uh, hope you can see me. Great, How'd you, what'd you think? Did you like it? I was so excited uh, to finally be able to announce this game to you. Um, this game is very special. Um, like I said, uh, it's extremely like Mario Kart, uh, but graphical perspective, and you're playing this in an arcade environment, right? Um, my God, it's awesome. Really, really awesome. And I can't wait to have you try this game. Uh, I was extremely happy when I first heard that we got this game uh, because I, <laughs> I've been really waiting. I, I've been really hoping uh, for this game and uh, Rita GP Renegade. So. Very, very happy uh, that we got this game. And you know what's really cool about this game? Um, I, I, so, so let me tell you a little story. Um, 
I was reading, uh, I, I read a lot of comments uh, that's put on uh, on several sites that we have. And um, there's some really cool comments. Um, and uh, by the way, both um, positive comments as well as constructive comments are extremely uh, helpful for me. Uh, and I read uh, every single constructive comments as well. Many of them, um, what's the best way to put it, are um, in our in our heads. So we're thinking on like, uh, it's just that, um, you know, um, so it's constructive comment where we're thinking on like, uh, which was basically saying that, hey, um, what we're thinking is right. <laughs> uh, our plan is right. Uh, so those were really good. Uh, some other constructive comments that are happening are ha were happening because of, um, what's the best way to put it? Um, having not, not enough information. Maybe that's the best way to put it, right? So one of the, one of the uh, constructive comments that I saw was that um, our device is, um, what, what's the best way to put it? Uh, just a, a big version of Android phone. And uh, this is not true. Uh, but um, like, as we discussed, um, only thing basically common between the two is that our, our operating system is based on Android operating system. And there's a reason why we're using Android operating system. I'll get into that in a second. But um, other than that, the operating system is completely revamped to play only games and focused only on games. And the big differentiation there is that um, performance is amazing. <laughs> um, if you play, try playing games on uh, Android phone, even with the highest spec and everything, everything will slow down. But on our device, everything is optimized for gaming. And all the resources that we have on the device is utilized only for the game. And there are many other optimizations happening on the um, uh, our device uh, when game is being played. So it's a completely different experience. Um, so um, I, I don't think that was communicated. Um, that's one. And the other thing is um, a, a myth, quote unquote, is that um, right, uh, we're only playing phone games on our device, which is not true. It's extremely, absolutely false. Uh, there, ca there can be, let me put it that way, right? Because our device is compatible with many different types of games, um, right? Um, and uh, obviously, if we wanted to, and, and some other games will be, right? Uh, directly taken from a, I won't, I'm not gonna say phone version because it's not a phone version. It's an Android version of the game. And Android, for, Android as an operating system was not, uh, well, it's being used a lot on the phones, but it was, it's also being used in many other platforms as well. So um, games developed for Android um, that are, Right, um, and that are uh, made, what's the best way to put it, uh, so that it can be used on other platforms as well. We take that and we irk dies it, right? So we there are some games like this. Uh, there are other games that are extremely optimized for IRK based on the Android version. And there are, ver there are games that are not Android versions, right? Um, one of the reasons why this game is so special to me is um, I love this genre, <laughs> but this is not an Android version uh, that you saw today. Um, and I just want, I want to show you, uh, I've been very excited to show you because of this. This is a console version of the game. Um, and uh, we, the developer uh, whom we're in like marriage, <laughs> um, they brought over the console version to iArcade. Uh, in a very short time, relatively very short time. Uh, so uh, the, the the version they use, it, this is a, a, a console version, a latest console version. And um, you'll see that and, and the graphics and everything, these are really, really amazing. So I want to debunk this myth, um, uh, right? And uh, this game was a really Good one to show you and uh, sort of prove <laughs> uh, to debunk this myth. Uh, again, um, you cannot have a phone that big. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be like, you know, hello. <laughs> um, it, it's, it's not a phone. It's definitely a dedicated uh, gaming system that is optimized for gaming. And again, uh, it'll play 
uh, many different types of games. So, uh, when, so operating system uh, is an IRK OS, it is what we call it. Um, games that are IRK are IRK games. Uh, I just wanted to point that out. So that was really exciting. Uh, and um, great to be able to let you know. Um, so I hope you liked the game. Now, um, one more surprise. <laughs> one more surprise. Um, let me show you a slide. All right, here, here goes my friends. There it is. Uh, we're preloading Beach Buggy Racing on iArcade. Um, I, this was an experience that really shows um, the iArcade experience. And uh, we believed that this was a game that uh, everyone had to uh, play and try out and, and enjoy. And we thought that this was a game that everybody will enjoy. So we decided to uh, make this a preload game for IARK. So it will come on your device, free of charge. <laughs> and this is, the third, uh, this is the third preload game that we'll be announcing today. Uh, uh, so far, so far. And, and there's some more coming. But uh, this is the third one that I'm announcing today. Uh, let me switch over to me. <laughs> um, yes, woo! <laughs> uh, I, I love it. I love this game. Um, been very excited to show you this game. Uh, now I can. So uh, let me go over some questions. Uh, if you can give me one second, and I think my eyes are still going bad. <laughs> um, here we go. Um, lots of people joining. Um, hey, by the way, Steve, hey, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate it. So great to see you. Um, let's see. I see a lot of... Awesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> Great word. I, I love those words. <laughs> uh, you can probably see, right, my favorite words are like awesome, amazing, holy cow. Um, I'm very expressive, but, you know, when I say something, um, I, don't, I don't say it with my brain. Um, I, I just say whatever I feel like. And, right, when I say amazing, I really feel this amazing, so that's why I say it. So, um, yeah, I, that's why I love these expressive words. Um, let's see. I see a lot of uh, mark the calendar. Um, again, if you can sign up to irk.rocks, that will be fantastic. Um, I see a lot of audio is perfect. Uh, Sao, hey, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining. Uh, how many games does it come with? Uh, great question. Uh, right now, we've announced three, and we'll be announcing more. Uh, actually, uh, the information is coming very, very soon, so stay tuned. Um, thank you for the question. Um, Mark, I wish I was skinny enough for anything. <laughs> That's what I said, right? <laughs> um, my God, I was so glad that I was able to get through that small uh, crevice. I, I call it crevice. Um, but I, I've seen your picture, Mark. Uh, you're, 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 very, uh, you're in a great shape. So, um, right, you have no, you have no right to say I wish I was skinny enough <laughs> because I think you're in great shape. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. I know you said to make me feel better. <laughs> um, let's see, Jason. Hey, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining. Um, need my address so you can send me a head and share to preview this quality for you, John. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, Man, I, we don't have a hat. Uh, maybe we should think about doing a hat. Hat is a great idea. Um, yeah, I don't normally wear hats. Maybe that's why it didn't come to me. But uh, we'll, we'll look into it. Um, but we have a shirt. By the way, did you guys notice that uh, my son was wearing my shirt? Um, and that went all the way down to his knees. Uh, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, maybe I'll take a photo and share. <laughs> hey, Chris, how's it going? Thank you for joining. Happy Friday, John. I'm excited about next Tuesday. It's finally looking like you're getting closer for launch on Kickstarter. Wink. <laughs> I just stopped doing winks. Um, sorry for that. 
uh, just got to show all the time you have put into this as well. I thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Chris. Um, you know, I, I, you just made my day. Um, I feel like I just ate um, Papa eating spinach. So uh, energized again. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, let's see. Jason, I want that machine loaded with the games already. <laughs> Prototype this gancha. <laughs> Of course, my friend, of course. Uh, we'll have some good games, great games uh, preloaded on there. Uh, amazing games preloaded on there. And I think one that I showed you, um, I think that that's the quality that I would like for you to experience on iArcade. arcade uh, It's actually much, it should be much better uh, when you play it in front of the device than if you watch it on Facebook Live. Because I found that Facebook Live doesn't communicate the experience too well. Um, that's why I also, uh, record and upload the game demos to YouTube channel as well. I, that turns out to be a little bit better uh, than um, Facebook Live streaming, but uh, it does not compare to actually standing in front of the device and playing it. It's really amazing. Um, I hope that um, especially uh, some people, uh, my neighbors uh, in Chicagoland, Mark, wink, wink, hint, hint. <laughs> um, when the pandemic is over, maybe we should get together and do a um, iArcade um, family party or something like that, right? <laughs> Play games and drink beer, and I think that'll be fun. Um, Shaf Shafiq, uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, sorry sorry for if I mispronounce your name. Uh, well, welcome to the session, and thank you so much for being here. Um, how many games? Um, it's a br pretty broad question. Um, how many games? In, if you you're to, if you're talking about our current list of games uh, that we have licensed, uh, we have about uh, we have about two hundred. Um, if you're talking about preloaded games, um, we'll be announcing that soon. Uh, we'll be announcing that soon. Uh, we'll let you know. Thanks so much for the question. Um, see. Hey, Corey, how are you, my friend? Thank you so much for joining. Is there a way to store bot games in the cloud or somewhere else so we don't run out of memory? Um, that's a great question. Uh, absolutely. Uh, so how it works is that you can delete your games that are that you're not playing currently, and then basically re-download later on. Uh, that way, right? It, it'll be in the cloud for you, and when you need it, you can just download and uh, reinstall and just get it going. And again. Uh, if you pay once, it's yours, so you don't have to pay again. Um, so absolutely, my friend, absolutely. Hey, Chris, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. Uh, great to see you. Um, just going down through the list uh, to answer questions. Uh, Corey, and can we adjust my video settings on monitor? Um, right now, that's a really good question. Um, we're, that's one of the things that we're looking into, actually. Um, I don't mind telling you. Um, it's one of the things that we're looking into. So uh, we'll let you know. We'll let you know. But um, I, I think it's a great option to have. So we'll keep you updated. Um, hey, Jeff, how are you, my friend? Thank you so much for joining. Um, hey, John, you did you watch 009, uh, the Japan animation, the manga? Uh, that used to be like one of my favorites, right? That and I don't know if you've seen Kesan. Kesan was another great one. And of course, Gundam and all the robots, right? Mazinger Z. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, there was another one called Grizier X. Uh, that's another robot with an X right there. And that was really, really cool. Um, yeah, I saw a lot of mangas when I was young. <laughs> and, and when I grew up as well. Uh, but anyway, so glad to hear somebody uh, seeing 009. I think that's a really good one. Um, Jeff, three hours special today, <laughs> showing 20 games. <laughs> you know? Um, I was I was going to prepare an anchor <laughs> um, after hearing an anchor last time um, anchor game, but um, uh, I, I didn't think we had enough time today because I went to show the two player game today on Beach Buggy. Uh, but I was going to prepare it. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for that. Uh, hey, Lutalo, how are you, my friend? Thank you so much for joining. Uh, just getting here. What I miss? Uh, Wink. <laughs> oh, man, sorry. Today's a wink day. Um, you can see that, right? Whenever I haven't had so much sleep, uh, you'll know, uh, right? Just by how I talk and 
how I act. Um, you probably figured out uh, I mumble a lot uh, when I am lacking sleep um, and things like that. So I think I'm doing uh, lacking sleep um, often, but uh, I, I, you guys are waking me up. So I, I love it. Thank you for that. Um, Chris Breeze, how, hey, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. Um, looks great. Looking forward to more info next Tuesday and Kickstarter. Cheers, Jung. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, cheers as well. Um, cheers, <laughs> uh, my uh, beer alternative. Uh, let's uh, go down the list. Jason, how are you, my friend? Thank you so much for joining. Is still waiting on big hitter top shelf games. Um, I personally think there is a everybody has different favorite game. Um, depending on what big popular top shelf games mean. Um, but um, I've, I've been explaining this um, uh, several times. Uh, a lot of uh, many people saying um, they have different favorite games. NBA Jam, Arch Rivals, uh, uh, others that you have mentioned in the next, um, next section. Um, let's see. Um, I'll read your comment. Uh, NBA Jam, Arch Rivals, Super Spike Feeble, where are games we know? Come on, John, hit us with the good stuff. Can't put my money up if you don't know we, you can deal with the big publishers. Um, great question. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Um, I've been trying to answer um, many similar questions that I have received in past some time. Again, I think everybody has different favorite games. Uh, and uh, we are trying our best to meet the needs. Um, we so uh, let me let me put it this way. Um, first of all, big publishers um, they it, it takes a long time to get licensed with them, right? Um, generally, two to three years. Um, we are able to make that happen much quicker, right? Uh, and we've been able to uh, license all these different games uh, in a very short time. It took us it, about five months, five months to get all these games. Um, and I've been in the industry, but uh, this does not happen. Um, I, I've not seen something like this. So I was very proud of what we've been able to achieve. Now, from a licensing game perspective, um, the fun begins after we launch because these big companies uh, require um, sales data of your de of the device, right? And uh, right with the sub with the sales data, then uh, we can continue the discussion. So one of the reasons why I have been keep on saying companies are look looking at us right now, what they're watching us, um, and this is all coming to play. So uh, once we have sales data, then we can uh, resume talking to um, big companies and things like that as well. Uh, so, but uh, quite honestly, um, so far I'm very proud of the games that we have right now, um, right? Many of the games uh, you may have heard of, many of the games that you may have not. Again, we've lived in different regions of the world uh, and even in, within the country as well. Even within the country, uh, we've lived in different regions, and different regions have different games on each different arcade, right? Many of the games that I've showed you, I haven't even seen myself, but many of the games that I've showed you, I have seen myself as well. Uh, I have seen and played and loved. And many of the people are telling me uh, names of games that I've never heard of, that they they said they're, it's their favorite. And many of the games that um, they tell me are also obviously my favorites as well. So everybody has different tastes. So I can, we cannot meet everybody's uh, needs on day one. There, the ocean's huge. There are so many fish in the ocean, and everybody has different uh, taste in fish, if you know what I mean. Uh, and um, we cannot catch all the fish with one throw of the net, if you know what I mean. So uh, are we going to... The great thing about IRK is that uh, it... Right, day one list is not final list, right? Day one list is a start list because um, these are games that we have already collected even before we launch. This is a start list, and game list will continue to grow. And again, uh, when we launch, this is when fun, fun starts because now we have the sales data to show so that we can get more games, get big companies involved, and things like that. So. 
Uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, so again, um, the list that we'll be uh, sharing with you very, very soon, this is a pre-launch start list. Um, one thing that I would like to ask is that um, we, uh, uh, please keep in mind we haven't launched yet, right? This, it, it, right? It's a new product that we're about to launch with uh, brand new innovations that you've not seen before. So, um, um, and I'm, I'm saying a lot of this, but this, I think this is a very important question. Um, so, um, so we, so typically, if you look at all different, I, and I, I've bought every single device that's out there, and if you look at the history, um, these these devices, especially new ones, right? Even big ones too, right? Uh, before you launch, there are not many games, and then once you launch, then this is where all the games come in. Uh, exactly the same thing's going to happen with us as well, except uh, our speed is, right, is at least if, if you look at it from a, our, our historical perspective, right, 200 games in five months, it's, it's really fast, really fast. One of the reasons is because um, the companies, uh, the game companies, really like what we're doing, and they believe in what we're doing, and, and they support it, right? Uh, for example, these companies are hurt really, really bad by piracy, for example. And uh, we're one of the companies that are, um, right, what's the best way to put it, uh, officializing everything, right? We want to deliver the official experiences, the, perf the experience that it was meant to be, and also reward the people who made it. Um, so uh, we, are, we are trying to uh, make the industry better. And uh, we are introducing a lot of innovations with it. So, uh, right, and that's one of the reasons why. And we have a very, very strong licensing team as well as uh, you have seen previously. Uh, so uh, I have strong faith in, in making these happen. And there are also a lot of, lot of conversations happening as we speak right now as well. Um, so um, I, I am very excited about what's happening. I'm very excited about what ha we have done so far. I'm very excited about what's coming uh, in the near future as well. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll be delivering more information on these. And also, um, by the way, there are a lot of games that even if you haven't tried, um, discovery is very, very important part of gaming, uh, right? There is no game that right, you have known since day one when you're born, right? There was always a day one, and you tried it, and you loved it, and this is how you fell in love with those games, and that's where you are looking forward to sequels and things like that. There's always a day one. And there are many games uh, which need to be discovered, right? Uh, for example, um, like Beach Buggy that I showed you today. Try it out. Um, you may like this much more than you think. Or try out Dead Effect 2, our first-person shooter game that I showed you, for example. Um, you may like them much more than you may think uh, because I fell in love with those games, and I've not heard of those games before. So um, try it out. If you try it out, you'll, you'll know what I mean. And, and as a bonus, of course, we'll have a lot of games that you know as well. So, And more games are coming. So what happens on day one? And we are right now at negative <laughs> uh, something days. So right, when you, it, we hit day one, uh, you'll see. Uh, you'll see what I mean. But thanks for the, thanks for the question. I appreciate it. Uh, let me get to other questions. Sorry for taking a long time on that, but I think that was important for me to say. Um, Let's see. Uh, Jackson, how are you, my friend? Thanks for joining. Uh, car racers are a blast. I think I almost bought this one on PS4. Oh, really? Oh, so great. Uh, glad to hear. I love car race, uh, racing games, right? Uh, play this with my kids all the time, and I lose, like you saw today. <laughs> uh, but those, those are really fun. Really good fam uh, family game, I think. Um, so thanks for thank you so much for that. Uh, Lutalo, is there a preloaded game? Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, we're preloading uh, Beach Buggy Racing on IRK. So, uh, so glad to be able to announce that today. So, thank you so much for that. Um, Abby Mile, hey, how are you? Uh, my, my sister, apologies if I mispronounce your name. Uh, I, I want to make sure that I don't, and I want to pronounce everybody's name correctly. So, if I did, my apologies, please correct me. Uh, thank you for that. Could we add video snaps? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by video snaps. Uh, if you mean snapshots, um, 
uh, let me let me know. Uh, my my apologies. I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't think I'm getting the question. So let me know. I'll get. To, I'll definitely answer your question. So thanks for that. Um, just going down the list. I'll go quickly. Um, oh, what happened there? Uh, Jeff, uh, adding to Beach Buggy to my buy list. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, okay, now Encore and Core more games. <laughs> By the way, my friend, uh, you won't have to add that to buy list because it will be coming to you in your IRK device for free. Um, it, it's going to be preloaded. So <laughs> um, thank you so much for that. So that's really, that was really great to hear. I really appreciate it. Um, let's see. Um, so my, my list just scrolled down uh, by itself. So I'm just scrolling up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kelly, how are you? I thank you so much for joining. I wish you could switch out controls with a modular design for steering wheels, guns, trackballs, et cetera. That's a great question. Um, iArcade was designed with modularity in mind uh, from day one. So for example, uh, parts are really easy to replace and things like that. Um, uh, we, we'll look into those. Um, there are many things that we want to do with Iron Arcade, and um, uh, bringing new experiences is definitely one of one of the things that you know, we're looking to. And we want this to be very innovative, new experiences that you will love. So we'll keep you updated on that. But I thank you so much for the for the uh, question slash comment. I appreciate it. Um, Wayne, beach buggy racing looks like a fun game. <laughs> Thanks so much, my friend. You have to try it. Um, there's a reason why I was very excited about showing this to you today. And I've been waiting for a very long time. So um, I would strongly recommend. Uh, <laughs> thanks for that. Um, Mark, your son's better driver than I'll ever be. <laughs> That's why I take buses. <laughs> uh, you know, if cars had joysticks uh, instead of wheels, maybe <laughs> we'll be able to drive. We all will be able to drive better. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks for that. Love it. Um, Ed. John, give us a tiny spoiler about Tuesday. <laughs> um, my God. Uh, right, just for you, maybe I'll just mention one word. Uh, kick starter. Wink. All right, next question. <laughs> um, let's see. John, would love to see lots of 80s arcade games. I totally agree with you. Uh, I, I used to love 80s arcade games as well. Uh, we do have quite a lot. Uh, and we also have a lot of 90s arcade games as well, as you can see. So um, we will definitely work on uh, making sure that we have good, diverse uh, games so that everybody can play in love. Uh, thanks for that. Appreciate it. Uh, so just going down the list quickly, just to make sure that um, there are any questions that I haven't answered. Let's see. Um, wow, there seems to be more questions than I thought because my list is like continuously rolling down by itself. Um, let's see, Derek, hey, how's it going, my friend? Thank you for joining. Holy cow, that's an ama that's awesomely am amazingly awesome. Oh, thank you. Wow, that uh, I love your expressions. Um, maybe I should start using double expression as well. I love it. <laughs> thank you for that, uh, Jeff. Uh, more hearts, guys, more hearts. Maybe he'll show another game if we get more hearts. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I'm not able to see hearts on my system right now. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yes, more hearts, please, more hearts. Thank you. <laughs> I, I will, I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's see. Um, sorry, um, I think I'm ne getting near to the uh, end of the questions. I'll go quickly. Um, Jeff, lightning round, name five games coming to our arcade you haven't announced yet. Ready, set, go. <laughs> uh, beach buggy, beach buggy, beach buggy, beach buggy, and beach buggy. There he goes. <laughs> uh, that was pretty quick. <laughs> uh, thanks for that. Um, let's see. Uh, John, would I think would love to see something like uh, Retromania on IRK sometime. Uh, I haven't heard of what I, retro menu means. Um, if you can let me know, um, yeah, we'll definitely look into it. So thank you so much for that. Um, let's see. Um, uh, Jeff, uh, 
will we have access to the game store during the Kickstarter or when will we be able to see? Uh, great question. Um, we're going to be launching uh, game store uh, on day one when we launch our device. Uh, so uh, when you get your when you get your device, you will see it. Yeah. Thanks for that. Um, we'll make sure it's we'll make sure it's awesome. <laughs> um, Jeff, uh, have you considered doing a Q and A on a YouTuber podcast? I bet Retro Ralph would love to interview you and it would get some free good publicity. Oh, thank you for that. Appreciate it. Um, I've actually done several uh, uh, podcasts. Um, and uh, I think if you do uh, YouTube search, I'll probably come out. And uh, there's another one uh, that's coming up soon. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> um, I'll tell you more about it on Tuesday. Uh, but thank you for that. I totally agree with you. I appreciate it. Um, Chris, hey, how's it going, my friend? Uh, thanks for joining. Did I miss any announcements? I just got here. Um, wink. <laughs> uh, maybe we should have a private uh, show for you. <laughs> uh, today, I, I, at least I share something that I really like. So, um, and a new preloaded game, wink, wink. <laughs> um, see, Jackson, hey, how's it going, my friend? Thanks for joining. Video snapshots are just short gameplay videos that play when you highlight a game in the list. They're nice to have features. Oh, gotcha. OK. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, we'll definitely look into it. Uh, I think those are really good to have features as well. So uh, thanks for that. Uh, Chris, John, will you be on Tuesday at 3 or 4? Uh, yeah, my sincere apologies. Um, my, my target is always 3 PM, uh, but uh, I think things happen. So a lot of times I know it was delayed. So my sincere apologies for that. Uh, but I will. Uh, I'm trying to keep three o'clock and uh, or at least as close as possible. And uh, Tuesday, um, I think it'll definitely be at three o'clock. Three o'clock. So we'll. I'll, I'll make sure to make that happen to, at three o'clock. So thanks for that. Uh, John Retromania is a retro style wrestling indie game. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, it sounds like Wrestlemania, uh, which I was a huge fan of back when. Hulk Hogan and um, Randy Macho Man Savage and George the Animal Steel <laughs> over there. I was a huge fan. Um, thank you for that. We'll look, we'll look into some wrestling games too as well. Um, please have these great game lists coming. And we are definitely listening to you, as we said. So uh, we're definitely going to look into that. Right. Uh, so thank you so much for that. I think that was the last, at least on my list of questions. So I know we went pretty long today. Uh, my, my apologies for going long, uh, but I was too excited today <laughs> to uh, show you all these. Uh, so uh, I hope it was enjoyable. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the games that I showed you today. And um, again, I want to make sure that uh, let me go back to my slide. And I think there was a couple of other things I wanted to. Um, Oh, and, and uh, don't forget to sign up to irk.rocks uh, link, uh, where I would like to have some, com uh, some uh, quote unquote, uh, private conversations with our family here. Uh, so if you can sign up there, I would appreciate it. Um, I think with that, uh, I will conclude for the day. And the games that I've showed you, um, now I'm on to making, um, making demo videos. <laughs> so I'll create the demo videos, and I will post them up to our YouTube channel so that you can enjoy. Uh, again, any more qu any questions that you have, um, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you so much again for today, my friends. Today was very, very exciting. I had a lot of fun. I hope uh, you guys had a lot of fun as well. Oh, sorry, I was showing my slide, wasn't I? Um, I had a lot of fun today. Uh, thanks to you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, this is happening because of you. Uh, and without you, this would not have been possible. So uh, I want to thank you so much again. I really appreciate it. Um, again, like we said, uh, like I said many, many times, uh, you guys are much more uh, than a fan to me. Uh, you guys are friends and family. Uh, so I love my family. I'm so happy. And so um, Tuesday, and, Tuesday and Friday, you guys are making me really happy. So. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you for that. Uh, I love my family. I love you guys. Right? You remember this? 
Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to Tuesday. Uh, we will have a lot of fun on Tuesday. So if you can mark your calendars and um, um, then we're looking forward to seeing you then. Thanks so much again, my friends. Thank you so much, uh, everybody. Thanks so much for my, thank you so much, my family. Uh, have a fantastic weekend and we will see you on Tuesday. Thanks everybody. Bye.